Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So for today's video, I thought I would do a haul because it has been a hot minute since I've done a haul. Uh, I feel like this season I actually haven't been doing as much shopping as I normally do. I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of the things that I buy and just getting some more quality pieces. And I got the cutest little vintage dresses ever, so I just have to share them with you guys. So I'm gonna be starting out with the oldest piece. So I have a piece from the 1930s and then going into the most modern piece, which would be up to like the 1970s. So I'm just gonna kind of work my way through the timelines um, and just show you guys the things that I got. So yeah. Okay, I had to move the camera down so you guys could see the bottom part of this dress. So this is the very first dress that I have. This one is from the 1930s and it is in almost near perfect condition. It just, there's a few pieces where the lace little pieces have started to snag on it. So I'm gonna have to like sew and like fake that lace a little bit. So this is what it looks like. I do need to get a little belt for it because the waist is a little bit big on me. Um, but what I love is that it has these little pleats going along the front here, which I think is such a beautiful detail. Just kind of looks like that. It is obviously all made out of lace, so I am wearing a little nude slip underneath so that you can see the lace through it. If I wear like a navy slip underneath, then you're not gonna be able to see all the lace on it. So I like to wear something a little bit closer to my skin tone, that way you can kind of see the lace peeking through anyway. It does have these really big puffy sleeves. It also has these beautiful little glass buttons that look like little flowers. I think they're so sweet and so cute. Um, so yeah, it's a really beautiful little dress and I can't wait to wear it. Okay, so this dress happens to be one of my favorites in the entire haul and this one is from the 1940s and it is just so beautiful so it's like this beige color and then it has these black sequins going along the front here that creates like little bows um, and then it also has these kind of like peplum situation kind of going on and it has a little bit more sequins over here um, and I just think it's so flattering and so cute and I just I really really like it I don't really have many things like this in my collection so I'm really excited to kind of like pair it with some of my black hats um, it also came with a little matching belt but the belt buckle needs to be replaced so I'm not even gonna bother showing it to you because I have to change it anyway it's the same color as this dress anyway um, but I just think it's really really cute and yeah also I had to like pin my hair up because it's getting so hot in here and I had like the hair on my forehead so anyway if I look different that's why this is the next piece that I have and again this one is a little 1940s dress this one is just plain black and it has little short sleeves with shoulder pads which is shocking that I actually don't hate these usually whenever I get anything that has shoulder pads on it I end up cutting them off because I just don't like shoulder pads but these ones actually work because I feel like since they end on my shoulder and they don't extend over my shoulder I think I don't mind them as much I just actually think it's actually quite flattering for this type of dress um, and then the entire like bodice kind of part has all these little like pleats on it and then at the back, there's like almost like a little bustle, if you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can see it back there, but um, really, really cute. I actually think it's really flattering, and I can see myself wearing this with like a colorful hat and just walking around the city in it. Um, so yeah. So this dress is a little bit more casual. This one is from the 1960s. It is from the junior section from the 1960s. No adult would wear something this short in the 1960s. So it is more of a junior style for like teens. However, this is 2022 and I love a short little dress. I've actually kind of stayed away from them for the past few months, but I do love a short little dress or mini skirt. Um, so I decided to get it anyway and I think it's really, really cute. It's like a burgundy and gray gingham and then it has these red little buttons here at the front. I think it's really, really cute. It also has a little tie belt thingy here um, that you can just tie in. It's made of the same fabric as the rest of the dress. Super cute and yeah. Then I have this really, really cute late 1960s little striped dress. It has a more nautical vibe. You guys know how much I love anything nautical and sailor inspired. So I really, really like this. I think it's super cute. It's like the perfect shade of blue and then it obviously has white on it. Um, and then it also has these really big white buttons here at the front, which I think are super, super pretty. Um, and then it has these little pleats here at the bottom. Really, really cute. I think this is gonna look really nice with like a little white hat. I have one, it's kind of like a pillbox hat. So it kind of has a little bit more of like a nautical sailor hat kind of vibe to it. It's from the 1960s and I think it's going to work perfectly. And also how cute would it look if I'm holding something like this? So 
so this is the next dress that I have and I just thought it was so cute. This one is from the 1970s, but I thought I could kind of make it into a more 1930s, 1940s look, just depending on with what accessories I pair with it. So I could do like a 1940s cream hat and like little gloves or something and I just thought that would look really cute. It's made of this like netting, kind of like knit crochet kind of material to be honest, I'm not really sure what it is, but um, it has these little like almost like shell-like type things on it, which I think is really cute and I didn't have anything like this in my closet. So I thought it would be a really nice addition. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. Let me know in the comments below which piece was your favorite as well. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos as well as I'm going to be adding my blog down below because I've been having so much fun posting on there and I just really want to get into my blogging a little bit more again. Uh, I've just been having a lot of fun with it. So I'm just going to be leaving it down there in case you guys are interested. If you have any requests or recommendations for either my blog or for this channel, let me know in the comments below as well. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>